While people are watching Harvey closely, cotton farmers are putting in overtime to make sure they do not lose their crops. CBS4 Stephen Seeley joins us now in the studio. And Stephen, how serious could the damage actually be, I guess, if those farmers do not get their fields picked? Well, Eddie, this is someone's livelihood we're talking about. Um, the damages could be substantial if everything isn't picked on, on time. Today I talked to a farmer from San Benito who was making last-ditch efforts to save his business from losing millions of dollars. Cotton farmer Paul Floyd Jr. and his family pray that Harvey isn't as bad as people expect it to be. As it is, it's bad enough that the price is down pretty low and we need all we can get. We don't need no storm coming in. Floyd says that if the storm wipes away his cotton crops, then it would be difficult to keep his business afloat. Hurricane Harvey puts Floyd in a serious dilemma, forcing him to speed up his cotton picking process. It, it really, a lot of it's not ready yet. There's still a lot of bowls that aren't, aren't open yet. But, you know, we're trying to get it out anyway. If we have to, we'll come back and second pick some if we have to. Floyd's property stretches from Valley International Airport to 281, about an 11 mile stretch. Floyd says the amount of money he would lose to the storm be about half a million anyway. Most plants usually welcome the rain, but once cotton bowls have completely opened up, rain does more harm than good. If it starts raining, if it stays wet, it's going to fall on the ground, uh, the seed could sprout. If it sprouts, then the gen will take it because they can't gen it. Meaning a new cotton plant will try to grow inside of the bowl. But if Floyd isn't able to completely pick all of his cotton, his crop insurance could ease some of the pain. Now, Floyd was out all day trying to sift all the cotton he had before the bad weather. I talked to him about an hour ago, and he said he's still out there, and he has another two to three hours left of work in the dark. 